So what's up everyone? AJ on AJ's Heli Journey here. I uh, managed to duck out for a bit of an unplanned trip to the flying field today. So uh, I didn't have much planned, but we're going to get some flying in and uh, hopefully some decent content. I, um, I got the bigger birds out today, but uh, I figured I'd start off with, uh, you know, a little guy since that's what I've been flying most often. And um, I don't have, uh, I don't have kind of all my talking points prepared for it, but I'm gonna try and speak to something I've been wanting to talk about for a bit now, which is um, a question that I see asked a lot when it comes to, um, when it comes to helis. And that's uh, you know what uh, what size you know what size should people start with, or what are the differences, what are the benefits. So I thought maybe I'd talk a little bit about what some of the pros and cons are with um, with different heli sizes. Um, it's going to be far from an exhaustive list of pros and cons because, like I said. I have really, in all honesty, haven't taken the time to prepare anything much, but uh, hopefully it'll be something to help out. So I figured I'd start since I got the little guy out here. We'll start with micro helis. And I know in the past people have considered pretty much anything other than a, anything below a 500, a bit of a micro heli. I don't quite see it that way. Um, just the way that things have advanced because now you have, you know, you had the Goblin, I have a Goblin 380 and you have several uh, helis that are in that same, uh, that are in that same vein now uh, with uh, the OMP wow. Hobby, um, the OMP Hobby M4 and then the Kuski G, GS4 or S4 I think, but uh, anyways, um, so, but when I say micro helis, I'm going to be talking about these really little guys, the M1, 100 size, 200 size helis, you know. But uh, I think the obvious first benefit with smaller helis is cost, because um, we're really looking at minimal cost of entry, and probably more importantly, um, really small cost when it comes to um, repairs and uh, Ten, nine, eight, sorry seven, we'll try and continue this six, in the next video five, four, three, two. so this is flight two and I'm gonna kind of continue where I left off in the last video what I was talking about so I finished off by saying that um, you know the first benefit pro is that the cost of uh, flying these micro helis or getting it you know purchasing them cost of parts you know uh, low cost uh, for uh, crashes um, you know realistically speaking if you crash you know in all honesty you're probably looking at about 10 15 20 dollars to fix for most crashes um, you know the other benefit is that you can fly these in a really really small area you guys know that for me because I fly them in my backyard I don't need to be out at the field um, and uh, they're very quiet so if noise is an issue for you then you can you know you can rely on the fact that these are uh, really really quiet Uh, I know I had another pro, but I can't remember it right now, but some of the cons are that, you know, these can be really twitchy, and the best way I can explain that is I was always taught that, you know, when hovering a heli, uh, analogy, one of the best analogies, I didn't come up with it, but one of the best analogies I, I heard was that it's like a balancing, a, trying to keep a, a metal ball on a glass table. And you can look at these micro helis as um, a tiny, tiny metal ball. 
and when you get uh, when you put bigger if you have the same metal ball but much larger it's easier to uh, keep it on the on the on the glass because everything happens much slower and that's very much the same with uh, the heli size and things can happen really quick with a micro heli you know when it goes sideways it goes sideways much quicker it's almost like uh, when you're flying a bigger heli things happen in slow motion um, so uh, yeah they're definitely twitchier but you know technology has kind of improved that for sure um, oh I remember another pro sorry I'm all over the place here another pro is that these are easy to store and easy to travel with you really don't need you know too much space at all um, to travel with these uh, another con is that you probably even see it in this with uh, all the dandelions they have here is visibility can be hard sometimes um, with these so if seeing a heli in the air is a challenge for you maybe something small like this is not the way to go so those are some of the cons and I may talk about a couple more in a second